So I've noticed another little eyesore in our Edinburgh file. We've got this sort of rather nasty kind of for sale sign and I'd like to take it out. Now the thing is, it's actually um, quite difficult because can you see it's over the sort of uh, other detailed stuff behind it and it's kind of not very, uh, it's not very kind of uh, easy to kind of uh, go along these straight lines here. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a combination of selection tools and the clone brush to help us get rid of it. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the polygonal lasso select because this is a square kind of shape and I am going to start just here. Now I'm going slightly outside the shape because I don't think I need to worry if I go slightly over the edge, like so. And what didn't come quite far enough across there. There we are. And so we've got our selection. Now the really cool thing is now when we uh, do something on this selection, so if I just use my normal brush tool like this and I draw, you'll see I can't actually affect anything outside the selection. So what I can do is I can copy uh, over the top of the selection without worrying about affecting what's going on around it. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my uh, clone brush and I'm just gonna uh, step backwards to undo that and I've got my clone brush here so the first thing is I have got this window and I think this window uh, needs a little bit of work uh, I'm going to have a copy of this window over here so I'm gonna so alt and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start up here because there's a very obvious point you see I'm right in that gap there okay and I get the same gap over here and I start to then put in our building like this Okay, so I'm actually going to copy it over a bit further, like so, and uh, I'm then going to start to extend uh, this bit up here. So I'm going to hold down my Alt key to uh, get myself, um, let's get below the shadow there, and let's... Okay, and I'm going to push that up again and push it up again like so. And then this bit up here, I'm just going to get that there and I'm going to come down at exactly the same angle like that. Okay, so let's see now if I can uh, get some of this going on up here. And starting to look quite acceptable and let's just copy this down like so. Now it's not perfect uh, I will admit uh, but actually 
once you zoom out, so I'm going to do that now. Uh, so I'm going to click on select, deselect, and then I'm going to zoom out. And you can see how effective that is. I could have spent a lot longer on it. And if I'd had better source material to work with, uh, obviously that would have helped. But you can see how this, if you didn't know I'd change that, it would look like that sign was never there at all. So uh, we are gonna have a go at doing this and then are also likely to try and change a couple of things in that image.